pumpkin. We're not done talking right. about pumpkins. So follow me over here, guys. We're going to take those pumpkins, and we are going to turn them into a delicious treat. Colome Jacobson is here. She's the editorial contributor and cooking expert for Recipe.com. She is here with us for the perfect pumpkin soup recipe. And I understand we're going to use the whole pumpkin today, the right? The whole pumpkin. We're right. making a sherry pumpkin soup recipe with some toasted pumpkin seeds on okay. top. Okay, I'm going to get over here in the cooking assistant, the sous chef position and, uh, and tell me how we start this whole process up. We'll see with Halloween right around the corner I love to take a whole pumpkin and use that to display the pumpkin soup so you can use it as an entree as an appetizer but it's a fun kind of festive way to um, prepare the soup and kids love it. So when you say like use a whole pumpkin to display it, you mean like use it just, as a bowl? Exactly just like that as the vessel for your soup and wow. you obviously don't want to carve from the bottom. Oh uh, yes soup. bottom bottom carving would be very bad. <laughs> no good. So this is kind of like you know we've all had soup like in a bread bowl before. Right exactly. Exactly. But it's in a pumpkin bowl. So wow. you just carve around the top and then put it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of your pumpkin. So you can do that for a big group or you do it for individual. So this is more like an individual size. I love size. the presentation. That's awesome. So first I'm starting with my onions and my garlic here and a little bit of olive oil. And this is kind of Spanish flavor inspired. We've got some smoked paprika and some sherry that we're using. Now if you can't find smoked paprika at your local supermarket, you can order it from specialty, specialty stores okay. or you can use Hungarian paprika, which is more commonly found. More common found. in the store, yeah. Exactly. You won't get the smoky flavor but it'll still taste delicious. And when you say that we're using uh, the sherry, what, 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 what does the sherry do for it? Anytime we it put enhances, alcohol in a dish, I'm like... Mm. Well, it enhances the flavor. And okay. if you're concerned with cooking for kids with sherry, it really cooks off as you cook uh, okay. in the mixture. And it just sort of leaves behind right, a little bit of... Right, a flavor, exactly. But there are so many other pumpkin soup recipes that you can get as well and serve the same way on recipe.com. So if you're yeah. interested in finding other flavors, you can go ahead and, and check it out there. So anyway, I have my onions, and now I'm going to add my smoked paprika. Okay. I'm going to stir that around a little bit. And now I have a special tip for um, using pumpkin in your soup. And this is great because oftentimes when you're using certain varieties of pumpkins, the outer shell can be really hard, really hard yep. and really tough to cut. And if you want to get your kids involved in the kitchen, not so good with knives, right? So what I do is I cut right down the middle of the pumpkin. I put right. it on a parchment lined baking sheet. And then what I do is I cook it in the oven. I roast it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then the flesh gets really soft. And then it's super easy to just scoop out oh, the yeah, seeds. Oh, yeah, you can just... See how easy it is to scoop out the seeds? Much easier, yep. And then here I have the inside of the pumpkin ready to go, and I just go ahead and add that right then into the pan. you're going to that right into the pan. So easy. With the paprika and the onions and the garlic. Yum. And then you don't have to bother with the cutting yep. and the... Peeling and some of those. I gotta try. Okay, I gotta try. you can, I know can go I can ahead and try. This. So Even get the seeds out first. Now, when you use the whole pumpkin, it's great. You can save the seeds yep. and toast them later for a yummy snack. Yummy. So that leads me to our topping, which is toasted pumpkin seeds with a little agave syrup, some smoked paprika again that gives it a nice smoky flavor, and some salt. So you get that nice crispy top layer garnish. And that gets on garnished your... on top. Nice job, JD. I'm Look impressed I'm a pro. with your skills in the kitchen. Get, oh, and I, then I tore it, but that's all right. You got it. It's fine. It's looking Nicely great. Done. Right here. Okay, so now I've got my pumpkin mixture. And what are we using as a base for this? Well, this is a vegetable stock. Now, you can also use a chicken stock. It's completely up to you. But you that can stay adds, vegetarian you can, if you Exactly, use exactly. Nice. So then I go ahead and I add my sherry first, and that kind of um, deglazes the pan, right? So you get all the delicious bits of flavor from the bottom of the pan. And that's not that much sherry. Okay, good. Not at all. And then we also add our vegetable stock at the end. And now, depending on the type of pumpkin you're using, you're going to need um, a different amount of liquid. For this recipe, with this kabocha squash, you're going to use about two cups of vegetable stock and okay. one cup of water. But you just want to uh, add the water. You're just trying to get to the consistency exactly, that you want, for the, exactly. depending on the, the gourd. So there it goes, and you can start to smell that smokiness it is and good. the smoked paprika. It is good. And Love it. And then you're going to go ahead and puree this in the blender or the food processor. So you end up with a oh, soup this like this gorgeous. that's garnished with the, the pumpkin seeds that are spiced, obviously, and then a little bit of cilantro for a nice freshness. And we use the whole pumpkin. And then you know what I love? I love putting the whole thing right in your right pumpkin Right in the bowl. vessel. Exactly. And it's a fun way to, to serve pumpkin soup around the holidays. That's you can even serve it as a nice centerpiece for Thanksgiving as well. Oh, Sometimes I'll idea. take like a big pumpkin. I'll have it as nice decoration for the holidays, for Halloween. Right. And then I'll actually use it. For Fill it up with exactly soup. Exactly. At, at Thanksgiving time. It's a awesome. really nice centerpiece. Thank you so much. This is a great recipe. If you want to take a look at this dish or any other great recipes that they've got on the website, go to recipe.com and there you can check out like 20,000 other recipes. Or you can pick up a copy of the magazine. It's in stores now. And you can even shop on the go with their new recipe.com app. That's at the iTunes stores and in the uh, Android marketplace. Cologne, thank you very much. We'll be right back.